Hi everybody and welcome back to Mr. Gard's Maths class. Today we're going to be looking at now applying our knowledge of algebra and applying it to real life situations. You often use algebra in everyday life without even knowing it. The first part when actually solving an algebraic question that is a worded problem is that you need to know what the unknown variable is going to be. To do that, it's really important to read the question carefully. Read it multiple times. Be sure that you know what the question is asking you. And then go about setting it out. Sometimes pictures can help. Sometimes creating a diagram or a plan of what is happening can actually help you solve the question. So in this case, Bob, the mechanic, has a call out fee of $50. Now it's important that you understand some terminology. Now if you're a, English is your second language, sometimes these can be quite tricky and may require some external assistance. In this case, a call out fee is often used in these questions and refers to someone being called to your house or wherever you are, and they charge you, in this case, $50, no matter that whether they're there for 20 hours or two minutes. They start off with a fee of $50. And in this case, they then charge a further $30 for every hour he works. Another mechanic, Tim, charges $45 per hour but no call out fee. The question is, who is the cheapest? Is that really a simple question? Is, the, is one of them really cheaper than the other one? The way that we can solve this is that we need to create an algebraic expression using a variable. Now the variable that we are going to use today is going to be the number of hours. So it is going to be dependent on how long each of the mechanics is actually working for. We're going to make X the number that represents the number of hours worked. Often writing it out allows you to think further about what you are going to be if we look at Bob's scenario first, Bob's going to charge $50 no matter what. That therefore must be a constant term. In other words, there are going to be no pronumerals related to it because that 50 is always $50. As for his hourly rate, his hourly rate is $30 per hour. So that means we're going to write 50 plus 30 x of 30 times x because for two hours it would be $60, three hours, $90 and so on. So there is the expression for Bob's, uh, yeah, Bob's costs. Tim on the other hand has a simpler way of doing it. His is simply $45 for every x worked or for every hour it works. So here's a simply 45x. Now in order to solve who we should actually go with, we can draw up a table as a one scenario because we can think if we if he comes for one hour, if x is one, If we were to substitute the value of x being 1 into Bob's equation, we're going to get 50 plus 30, which is going to be 80. If it was 2, and I'll just draw a couple more here, 4, 5. If you worked for 2 hours, it would be $110. 3 hours. 140 and it's going up obviously by $30 per hour and so forth. For Tim, if he was to work one hour, he would charge you $45.
it is really clear that 10 is much cheaper if it's a one hour job. If it's a two hour job, 10 again is cheaper, as he will cost you $90. A three hour job, and Tim is only marginally cheaper now, as he's going up at $45 every hour, and Bob is only going up at $30 per hour. Looking at the next one, we're now going to get $180 for Tim, which now shows us that for a four hour job, Bob is cheaper. And you might get the general idea now that anything over this amount of time, it is cheaper to order Bob. So as you can see, this is not a clear cut answer as to who is the cheapest. It is dependent on how long they are working for. If the question was a little bit more specific and said something along the lines of, if I needed a mechanic for 3.5 hours, which mechanic should I choose? And we might do that question now because three hours is cheaper for Tim, but four hours is cheaper for Bob. So I wonder which one is at what time does it swap over? So let's see three and a half hours. I've now redrawn the two equations. And we're going to have to substitute in the value of x, which is 3.5, into both equations to see what the total cost is if they worked for 3.5 hours. So we have 50 plus 30 brackets, 3.5. Continuing on from what we learned in previous lessons, we'll have 50 plus 30 multiplied by 3.5, which is 105. Total cost is $155. For Bob, for Tim, should be a little simpler, 45 multiplied by 3.5, which equals $155 and, sorry, $157.50. You can now see that it is marginally cheaper to order Bob's services for 3.5 hours than it is to Tim's. So this is just another way of using the same information, but by substituting in known numbers. Ultimately, there are many different ways that we can apply our algebraic knowledge to real life situations. But the key is, as mentioned at the beginning of this video, that you always need to determine what the question is actually asking and to then apply an unknown variable to those questions. Thank you for listening and enjoy.